Fat Joe addresses Daz Dillinger's statement about Tupac. Yo, I got a problem with this. You know, people are always saying that Snoop, Dr. Dre, us, everybody, we was jealous of Tupac. How can we be jealous of Tupac and we made Tupac? You know what I'm saying? We put that album together. We came over there. We gave him music. We did that. We wanted him to be the man of the man. You know what I mean? So how was we jealous putting his album together? You know what I'm saying? Taking songs from us and giving it to him. How is that jealousy? The only jealousy there was was Suge Knight in his ear and everybody's ear causing confusion. Look at that mother now. You know what I mean? All on this little podcast, always talking shit. All that noise. The dog pound, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, none of us. We was never jealous of Tupac. Because we can go in the streets and hang out and do whatever the f we want to do. He was limited for what he had to do. And we was the one that was producing and creating a masterpiece. All eyes on me. So who's jealous? I think Shug Knight was jealous. Yeah. Daz from the Dog Pound, super producer, super artist, talking about... I seen Daz from the Dog Pound talking about... Uh, Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, we made Tupac, we this and this and that. Right? That's how I took it. Right? And so now... I start backing up, you know, when Death Row grabbed Tupac, he was already the most popular guy. He was a super duper 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 star. And one night, the night I was there, when you hear the record Biggie and Tupac, I got that Mac 11s and all my is in the pen. Here we go again. Ain't nothing separating me from a Mac 10. I'm standing right next to them. I'm on stage with them. It was at a Big Daddy Kane show in Madison Square Garden. So Biggie and Tupac pulled me because I was in the crowd like a fan. They pulled me out. I only had Flo Joe, yo, come with us. I came with them. The point I'm trying to make prior to that is when Tupac walks into the arena, he walked in from like where you buy a hot dog and you walk in and um, the crowd is going crazy. Big Daddy Kane's the biggest rapper on earth. He's on stage with the crowd. It's like, this right after Juice. There's no way uh, Tupac wasn't lit before he went to death row. He was super the most talked about guy in the world. Now, I do understand when he says, how can I be jealous of him if I gave him hits? Very important. I've given artists hits. And people tell me, yo, how you give them hits? And I'm like, it's my brother. I love them. I love the artists. So it's very <clears throat> unselfish to work with an artist and give them hits. And he gave Tupac hits or produced the beats. I don't know the creative process, but I do understand. I do not believe Daz was jealous of Tupac Shakur or Snoop Dogg or none of them. And uh, let's be happy that uh, they got so much history together and it's so amazing. But I had to address that because, uh, we, we, you know, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. And this, in, in, in the Fat Joe show, it's transparency. It's putting your word into what you think or whatever the case. Listen, my opinion is subjective. You don't have to agree with me. But I just give you a little opinion with all due respect, you know, Daz is a legend. I do believe he was not in jealous of Tupac. And I know because I work with artists giving the music and you cannot be a jealous person trying to help somebody make a hit. Um, Very important. You have to walk in your truth, live in your truth. Listen, the biggest crime on earth is to lie to yourself. To convince yourself that you're something you're not. To think that you're like noble or higher. You know, I've seen the funny shit this uh, Dominican dude, right? It's a meme out there. And 
He's talking about, yo, in New York, we all celebrities. We all lit. This, that's some New York shit. Where every person in New York think they're lit. They think they somebody. You know, I've went to clubs having the number one song in the world, looking at a dude with two quarters across from me, looking at me like he's somebody. Right? So everybody in New York think they got followers. The, the guy says, I got followers of this. He said, my man was it dissing Bad Bunny like Bad Bunny. And they was like, yo, bro, we at the Bad Bunny concert. <laughs> Why is this so stupid? <laughs> hey, yo, that's the mentality in New York. But in the whole world, you have to live in your truth. If you lie to yourself, it is a crime. Don't let your ego get in the way of your blessings. So you over there lying to yourself. You over there pillow talking with your girl. Lying. Telling her that you some ill that You this, you this, that, that, this. Stop lying to yourself. It's, it's a dangerous thing. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.